Hello everyone, it's Stacy Nicole here with Cessna no Scraps and I'm here with a Kelly Kit video and a Project Life layout share. Um, I had all the intentions of making process video. I actually had the video already videotaped. I just didn't do the voiceover. Um, but I think I've just struggled with this kit. I think I'm just going to save my process videos for 2018. There's a lot I want to do in 2018 that I'll talk about later. So you'll see some more process videos from me in 2018. But for now, it's just a layout share and a sort of a killer kit. Although this kit still has a ton, still has a ton. I just struggled. I'm not sure if it's the colors. I'm not sure if it's just that I didn't pull enough ephemera or enough of stuff that I could work with better. For instance, these stickers, these puffy stickers, love them, really try to use them. They just don't go with my scrapbooking. So I am going to give those to my friend Kathy, as well as these, because I just do not do well with clear stickers. And I think there's some more clear stickers in here somewhere. But I did use some of these stickers. I used a few of them, as well as these chipboard stickers. I used two of them, I think, two or one, I'm not sure. Um, these, though, these, those are gone. I've already given Kathy the other one because you get two, I think you get two sheets. Yes, you get two sheets. So these will go into my Salvation Army pile, um, which is building up since Christmas, I'll tell you. We got all new, not to drag on the story, but we all got new pots and pans and from KitchenAid, which are wonderful pots and pans, so we can get rid of our old ones. So we need to make a run to Salvation Army. And not to um, advertise or anything, but if you do donate, Salvation Army CEO makes 13000 a year. Goodwill CEO makes, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous number. It's ridiculous. And they really don't give back to anybody, and they don't really help anybody, just FYI. Anyway, um, these adorable uh, pocket cards from the Madison Avenue collection, I did get some of those used. I did actually get into this Pebbles cards as well. And as for my paper, um, it's pretty much gone. The Summer Dreams collection, um, the Santa Domingo as well. So that's, that's good. At least I got that done. Um, ephemera wise, I used almost all my ephemera from my stash. There's not much there. There's still a huge chunk, and I'm not sure if you can see that. There's still a huge chunk of Heidi Swap ephemera. Um, it just came with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ephemera. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Moving on to the good stuff. Um, this first layout was like one and a half pages. I, I apparently did one and a half pages, um, the week before. Um, for week 41 and so I had the half but it wasn't I think I just did a half the week before because I didn't have many photos so but I had a lot of photos for weeks 42 and 43 um, my photos have kind of gotten messed up so I just merged these two weeks it works <sighs> here I go again talking too much and get an asthma attack I'll tell you it's a struggle when you like to talk <laughs> anyway um Really simple card here. This is just from that Paper Studio, um, Madison Avenue. I actually I absolutely love this collection. That's pretty much what I used. I did use one piece of paper back here from the Summer Dreams. And I did pull some card stock um, from my um, stash to back up some journaling. Um, so, but for the most part, I used that Paper Studio, Madison Avenue. I'm sorry. I gotta take a deep breath here. <sighs> Having asthma is not not easy when you like to talk really fast. <laughs> anyway, these two photos are of my sister and her husband. That's my brother, and that's my dad, and that's me. And then I've got to tell you, I really these photos went on Facebook. I gained 30 pounds from a medicine called Prenosome. And it's nothing I could help. Um, the doctors put me on it because they thought I had uh, autoimmune hepatitis. And um, I was on it for three months and I gained 30 pounds. And I'm a very insecure person about myself. Um, I think I've talked about this before in videos. I don't like putting photos of myself on Facebook and or, or my scrapbooking, but I'm trying. I'm trying to learn to love myself. I can't help that I've gained the weight because of the medicine. It is it is what it is. And I'm still on steroids, but thankfully they're a different steroid. I mean, they make you puffy and 
all that, but it's not nearly as crazy as those one medication as the prednisone. So these went on Facebook and I bawled my eyes out because I'm so embarrassed by how big I've gotten because of that medicine. But I'm over it. I've still got a few tears in my eyes. I'm over it. I lost uh, seven and a half pounds when I was in Florida visiting my grandma, taking care of my grandma. More like we take care of each other, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so I lost seven and a half pounds. So I got 20 pounds, 20-ish pounds to go. But my sister and her husband came to visit um, my dad, my brother and I, and my stepmom. And these are the dogs. You cannot go anywhere at my dad's house without these three being right by your side. This is Asia. She's the oldest. She's a Kita Shepherd mix. This is Harley. We really don't know what he is. He was adopted. He's he's the sweetheart. And this is Sadie. This is my um, my brother that passed away. This is his dog. Um, so they got three dogs now. <laughs> And it's always, it's always fun. And they bring so much joy into our life. And I just pretty much documented what I told you guys about. I um, typed my journaling this week because my hands were hurting, you know, with arthritis and everything. So, um, I think as of 2018, I'm going to type all my journaling. Not just because my hands, but because you can actually read it. My writing, and this is just... A, a sample of my writing is not the nicest writing because my hands cramp up and everything so and these lovely three right here are my nephews this is Gage this is Levi and this is Colt Colt is just he's a cutie pie he was just in love with the dogs that's all he cared about and I just absolutely love um, that I in this layout I've used a lot of washi tape I use washi tape there, there, there. Did I use any over here? I use some here. I actually pulled from my washi tape. If I keep using washi tape, it gives me the excuse that I get to go buy more. Yeah, like I need it. And then I had a blank spot here, so I took one of those Madison Avenue cards and I cut it in half and backed it up on a piece of paper. Love that camera. This is Coley. Our house is kind of dark colors. It's browns. It's Clark's house. It's a man's house, I should just say. <laughs> I haven't done anything to the house except for the scrap room and maybe the kitchen. A few things organizing. But um, so it's a lot of brown. So the, sometimes, and especially towards more towards the fall and winter, we have our um, kind of blackout curtains to keep the cold out because it gets so cold here in Ohio. For instance, as of right now, I think it may be a high of 10 degrees. Oh, we might be 14 today. It's the warm day. I don't know. It's crazy. And then um, this is just Coley playing with my shoes, and I just pretty much journaled about that. And then um, this was from the Heidi Swap um, ephemera. It says pets equal the best therapy, which is so true. He brings so much joy in my life. This next photo is kind of a funny photo, and I'm not sure if you can see it there. We were on I-75 leaving Toledo, and we got stuck in a traffic jam. Two and a half hour traffic jam. Sad to say, it was due to 11 car pile up. Hopefully, everybody was okay. It was very frustrating because we were stuck between a wall and a wall. It was one lane. Now, on the other side, there was two lanes going this way, but if you wanted to stay on I-75, you had to be in this lane, and that's what we were on. If we would have been on the other lanes, we would have been fine. But no, we got stuck two and a half hours. There was this nice couple with an Airstream that let me use the restroom in their RV. Thank God. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this. Can't do this. We have not been back to Toledo since because I do not want to get stuck in the horrible traffic jam again. Because they've just got so much construction going on. And the last but not least of this layout photo is of a puzzle. I absolutely love doing puzzles. Especially little kitty puzzles. Because um, of my cat of course. And it, they're just so addicting. And I get them done within like a day or two days. It just amazes Clark. I don't know why. It's not that hard. <laughs> um, week 44. Um... I went and pretty much based this layout on that Pebbles, um, oh, what is it called here? Um, it says spring, face cards. It had this really pretty blue color and then the light pink, so those are the colors I went with. 
And here I just um, put some uh, of these foam stickers, which are from Sticko. Sticko. I did pull those out from the kit because I did not pull any alphas from my for my kit. And then I just put the dates and all that good stuff and layers, some washi and some stickers. And um, this next photo is of a slot machine. It's the Simpson slot machine. Had so much fun. Never have I had so much fun losing my own money. <laughs> but it was one of those slot machines. Lisa entertains you while you're losing money. Um, this photo is my washi tape. Speaking of washi tape, um, I'm absolutely addicted, but I got my washi tape organized. The only bad thing about organizing your washi tape is that you want to go out and buy more because you're like, ooh, these are so pretty. These are so fine. Oh, look, I got a gap here. I got some room. I can go, I can go get some more washi tape. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I journaled about. This is Clark. And it's funny, I said um, in my journaling, I said, it's a good thing I don't get offended easily because Clark fell asleep on me, literally, mid-conversation, mid-conversation. He's been working so hard, which is understandable, but seriously, mid-conversation, he's lucky that I don't get offended easily. And this next photo is not a very good photo, but there are two squirrels here and they are taunting Clark. Um, last year, we had some squirrels get into our utility room roof. They went into the spare bedroom that's downstairs. They went in through the roof or the ceiling of the spare bedroom, made a big hole. It was a mess. So Clark had to catch these squirrels. We caught them and we released them. No, I would not let him get the BB gun out and have fun. No, I'm an animal lover, so that's not happening. So we caught them and we released them at, at a park. So, but they're back and they're taunting him. Anyway. <laughs> There, you're always going to have squirrels in your yard. And then Cooley, he has a toy box. He flipped his toy box over and he decided, hey, I'm just going to chill in here. This is my cat house. Um, this, this ephemera said in the dog house and I just um, put cat house. And that is that week. Let's see. Week 45, I pretty much did turquoise, teals, and pinks and blacks. Um, and those alpha stickers, I believe, are Paper Studio. Yes, they are. Paper Studio. I usually do not gl get anything glitter because I've had a wonderful time with some glitter. Let me tell you, I've had it all over my scrap room before. But these, actually, the glitter stays on those, so it's really good RAM. And I just put the dates and then um, the sticker that says Love in the Moment, I believe it's from Me and My Big Ideas. These next two photos are of those wonderful quizzes that your friends have you do on Facebook. It says my, my name means Royal Roots. I highly doubt that, but okay. And my Indian name is Magical Dancer. So there you go. Now you know all about me. <laughs> and then this picture is of Coley. I was reading my book and he stuck his head. I had my book like this. He stuck his head like right on the side and then one time he did it in the front. It just was so cute. He thinks all, all the attention should be on him. I just layered a Project Life card here and then um, did these cute little chipboard little doohickeys. And I used a Project Life card here. I was kind of proud of myself in this layout because I use quite a bit of Project Life cards actually for layering. There, there, and there, and so on. Next photo is of Coley sitting under the tree. Yes, this is um, November 6th through the 12th. I put my Christmas tree up every year in honor of a friend that passed away that loved Christmas. Plus, it usually cheers me up with seasonal depression. So, anything that can cheer me up during the blah of winter, fall, you know, it just gets so dark early. So, anything that cheers me up, I do. Coley thinks it's his new home. He just loves the tree skirt and all that. I made the mistake of buying a tree skirt this year that had a bell on it. And let me tell you, that cat tore up that tree skirt trying to get that gosh darn bell. So I had to, ended up going to snip the bell off. I took it off and gave it to him. And he's still having fun with that bell. These next two photos are of my dad and my brother and of Chance here. Um, Chance came to visit. He uh, just got home from Iraq in this photo. So we were really excited and celebrating. Um, I backed this photo up on a Project Life card and then just cut it down. And then I used one of those photo corners from um, Heidi Swap. 
The Let the Good Times Roll is from a piece of paper from, oh goodness gracious, what is that brand? Oh goodness gracious, it's this brand, Pink Fresh. So um, I just cut those up and put them in with my ephemera. And then, um, like I said, this next photo is my nephew. So good to see him. Glad he's home here in America, safe. Um, he likes to make his aunt worry. He talked about joining SWAT once he was done with the Marines, which he's done in May. And it's just like you're <laughs> you're leaving one dangerous job for another. Just, but now he's talking about actually taking advantage of the free college. So let's hope he does that, so his aunt does not have a heart attack. Yes. So um, there's that, and I just journaled here and then um, used some stickers. All right, last layout that I did was the Santa, I'm going to mess this up. I keep saying Santa Domingo, it's Sabato, Sabato Domingo. Um, week 46, those stickers are from Paper Studio. I used some washi tape and a scrap piece of paper. And this next photo is Coley. He's just chilling, relaxing. This card is from that... Oh shoot, Paper Studio Madison Avenue. And then I just did some yellow little stickers and tidbits there. Uh, this next uh, picture, which is not a very good picture. Like I said, we have kind of a dark house. We have a brown couch, we have brown walls, brown carpet. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's a man's house. I would have this place white and bright and yeah, who, who knows what other colors I would do. Um, but it's of Clark. He was making me laugh. He was taking the sleeves of his sweater and doing like the some kind of crazy dance. It was funny. And again, a really dark picture that you can't see very well. I'm so sorry. It's of Coley. We had this little box and he was bound and determined, bound and determined to get in this box. He wanted his whole body in the box. I really do not personally like how this card turned out. I feel like it needs something. But I was at the end of the day and I just wanted to be done. So it just is what it is. This next photo of this cute little dog is Nora, our grand puppy. It is um, my stepson's dog. And she is an Akita. She is so stinking cute. Her paws, and I kid you not, her paws are like this big. And she's just a puppy, so she hasn't grown into her paws. You can't really see it very well the way she's got her paws. They're just they're just huge. She's huge. Um, this next photo hopefully will not offend anybody. It, it offended my it offended Clark pretty bad. We um, play the Texas Hold'em at Buffalo Wild Wings and his son Keith thought he'd make everyone laugh by putting his name as um, B-I-G-D-C-K. You guys figure it out. Um, <laughs> I was geek and Clark I think was dude. So <laughs> we have so much fun though playing that stuff. But that's my layout. I am glad to be done um, with this kit. I don't think I'm going to share another kit until the new year. Like I've said, I've, I've got a lot of ideas and things I want to incorporate in my project life. And I'll talk to you all about that later. Hope you're catching up with your project life at the end of the year here. It's a struggle trying to get it done before 2018. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.